Office. We've seen business people complain about how this is affecting custom levies and all of that. What more moves are you making or what sort of conversations are you having to make sure that trade is more easier, ease of doing business? What more are you doing around that? Okay, so uh, many things actually. One, I talked about digital trade platform that we are working on. And this digital trade support we are getting from WTO and the World Bank. That includes inc increasing the digital infrastructure, especially around commerce, and building the e-commerce platform that will enable SMEs to trade. Then the logistics and the entire value chain for trading is what we're now trying to do risk. The fastest and best way that we identified is to create the one-stop export promoting centers, or what you call the export processing centers. Now, we have also gone into very advanced stages of negotiations with Afrexim Bank to develop some of these centers. Those centers will test, process, package, and, and, and carry out all the necessary documentations. We have all the multiple multi-agents who are responsible or who in, inspect and certify all exports for uh, exports. We have the customs, NAFDAQ, SORN, and NDLA, uh, Federal uh, Produce Inspection Agency, all of them quarantine services within one facility that will ensure that all the produce meet the standards for the exports. You know, one of the problems that we have is major export rejection. At least 75% of our harvest is rejected. So we have, first of all, we have 75% post-harvest losses, and then the ones that make it eventually for export, we have a huge export rejection. Now, with this export processing center, we will have a drop in export rejection and an increase in our export, in our export, um, export volume. Now, that's one. Then now look at the entire logistics itself of moving your goods from the export processing center to the port. That's where the national, the enhanced national trade facilitation committee is then going to play a role to identify all the factors that are responsible for all the trade and non-trade barriers that are making the cost of export very high and sometimes delaying the, the export process itself. So this committee is charged ready to look at why we have multiple roadblocks. Why don't we have enough trailers and vehicles to move goods? Why is the rail system not functioning properly? Are the roads connected properly to our markets, to our farm gates, to our warehouses, to the export processing centers? And do we have you know, the agility of the federal government, the state government, the local government to support the entire export process itself? including the documentations and everything that is necessary and needed to ensure that exports happen and move seamlessly and efficiently. So with all of this I have mentioned, I, we can now promise Nigerians that very soon we will see our export time reduced. The customs have also launched a number of um, programs to support the export facilitation drive that the ministry is, is um, handling. And I am very sure that very soon we will have seamless and more efficient export process for the exporters.